This right here is a hyperdimensional resonator. Now many of you have talked about the fact that my nails are long. Well, guess what? I believe that the HDR not only affects time, but it also affects living organisms. I believe this might be a side effect of the hyperdimensional resonator, which, since my hands are always close, take a look. See, this is a nail clipper. I clip my nails, but they grow very quickly. And I also have to shave a lot because the HDR puts out a powerful signal, which I believe is the reason why we get these time distortions. Now, what I'm going to do with this watch, take a look at it, is I'm going to turn the HDR on and see if it makes this watch go fast, which is one of my favorite uh, things that I like to do with the HDR. Okay, you see it? Let me turn the HDR on. HDR, so as you can see right here. This is not plugged in. Plug it in. Light on. Okay. Oh. This right here is a watch. A watch. See what happens? See, it's not going forward. It's going backwards. Now, I know somebody who told me. Now it's going forward. Now it's going backwards. I know somebody who told me. This is what they told me. They told me, if you can make the HDR go backwards, I'll believe. I'll believe if you can make the HDR go well, sometimes it goes forward and sometimes it goes backwards. Now watch. See? See what's happening? Backwards. Going backwards. It's important to understand that it's an unstable time field. Sometimes it'll go backwards, sometimes it'll go forward. It depends.